July is the month of buddy reads. So many buddy reads, but I'm excited for it. Let's talk about all the things that I plan to get to in the month of July. Hi guys, welcome, welcome back, bienvenue and all that jazz. It's time to talk about some books. Or specifically, we're talking about the obnoxiously large stack of books that I'm hoping, trying, wishing, dreaming to get to in the month of July. So without any further ado, let's just jump straight into it. First off is a book, the only book that I didn't manage to get to on my June TBR, and that is The Last Mortal Bond, or yes, <laughs> by Brian Stavely. This is book three, the final book in the Chronicles of the Unhewn Throne, which is a adult fantasy trilogy, which starts with The Emperor's Blades. Basically the setup for The Emperor's Blades is the Emperor has three children, one of them is training with these gigantic birds known as the Ketrel. One of them is training with this kind of strange group of reclusive monks. And the daughter is training back home in the capital to be the Minister of Finance, or she is the Minister of Finance. And the Emperor is assassinated and we see the children getting this news and starting to try to get back to the capital to find out what had happened to their father. And there are deeper plots I don't want to say too much more than that, especially in book one, though, do be aware that the trope or device of using sexual assault to make the bad guys evil is used quite a bit, and it's not really delved into in a very nuanced way, so just be aware if that kind of thing doesn't do it for you. <laughs> and then I have one of the two different buddy reads that I'm doing with L over at Elliot Brooks and Jesse May. I'll of course link their channels down below. And that would be for the first two books in the Aurelian cycle. So this is Fireborn and Flamefall by Rosaria Munda. And of course, if you follow L for any period of time, you know that she screams about these books at every opportunity. And she is hosting this buddy read. So if you want more information, you can of course check out her channel for more information. But Basically, this buddy read is to get ready for book three. The final book in the Aurelian Cycle trilogy is coming out in August. So we're reading books one and two, or she's rereading books one and two, to get ready for that. All I know about it is basically that it's like, what if it was like the Napoleon Wars, but with dragons? So let's just, let's dive a little bit more into the synopsis, because that's not a whole lot of information to go off of. Today will rise. Annie and Lee were only children when revolution changed their world, giving everyone a chance to test into the governing class of dragon riders. Now they are both rising stars of the new regime, even though Annie's low-born family was executed by dragon fire, while Lee was born to the very aristocrats who used to rule the city. A childhood at the same orphanage forged their friendship, and seven years of training have made them rivals for the top position in the dragon riding fleet. But everything changes when survivors from the old regime surface, bent on reclaiming their city. With war on the horizon, Lee must choose to kill the only family he has left, or to betray everything he's come to believe in. And Annie must decide whether to protect her dearest friend, or step up to be the champion her city needs. Loyalty and love are tested in this gripping adventure that asks what matters most, the family you were born into, or the one you've chosen. I mean, we stand a found family trope here on this channel, so... I'm excited for it, and we'll see how it goes. Then, the next buddy read that I'm doing with Elle again, and maybe Ingrid from um, Ingrid Expired, is for Era One of Mistborn. And this is because Elle and I are participating in a read-along hosted by Angela over at Literature Science Alliance. She is hosting a read-along for Mistborn Era Two, starting in August, reading one book per month, leading into the release of The Lost Metal in November. And so Elle and I felt very nostalgic for Era One. I've read this a few years ago now, and I remember actually very little. And I think this will be Elle's third read through. And if Ingrid joins us, it would be her first. So that would be really exciting. But this, the Mistborn trilogy, this is the original Mistborn trilogy. It starts with The Final Empire. And then we have The Well of Ascension. And then it all concludes with The Hero of Ages. If you haven't read the original Mistborn trilogy, the kind of setup for book one, as you can see here, is what if the Dark Lord won? Um, so we're kind of starting in this world where 
the Dark Lord has won and he won like a thousand years ago and we get to see what that world looks like. But I will say that between book one and two, the kind of tone and almost like feel shifts pretty drastically. But it is a fantastic trilogy from what I vaguely remember. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting old and my memory isn't what it used to be, kids. I remember liking it a lot, so we'll see how I feel on read through number two. I guess I'll just read the blurb just in case you haven't. I mean, Mistborn gets talked about all the time, I feel like, but just in case you haven't ever heard of it, let's see how it's described. The mists rule the night. The Lord Ruler owns the world. For a thousand years the ash fell. For a thousand years the Ska slaved in misery and lived in fear. For a thousand years the Lord Ruler reigned with absolute power and ultimate terror, divinely invincible. Every attempted revolt has failed miserably, yet somehow hope survives. A new kind of uprising is being planned, one that depends on the cunning of a brilliant criminal mastermind and the courage of an unlikely heroine, a Ska street urchin who must learn to master allomancy, the power of a mistborn. What if the prophesied hero had failed to defeat the Dark Lord? The answer will be found in the Mistborn trilogy, a saga of surprises that begins here. So obviously if you've ever heard about Mistborn, you usually hear about the magic system, Allomancy, where people could ingest different metals and those different metals grant them different properties. It's a very like scientific, mathematical type of magic system, pushing, pulling, increasing your senses, increasing your strength, that kind of stuff. So it's really fun and me as a shy on tossed, I really enjoy that kind of more scientific approach to the magic system. I think it's really cool. And that's not the only magic system in these books, but the other ones I don't want to give away because they are pretty interesting, especially with how they're revealed. So I would definitely recommend, if you haven't already, check out Mistborn Era 1 or jump in with this buddy read and read it for the first time if you need that kick in the butt that you've been waiting for. It's here. Kick, kick, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, like read. <laughs> Okay, and then the last thing on my, like, planned list, and this is stretch goals, because that's quite a bit of pages there, and that would be, I'd like to finish off The Legends of the First Empire. I have been warned, told, that the ending of Age of Legend is a huge cliffhanger that will make you want to immediately jump into Age of Death, and same thing, Age of Death will make you want to immediately jump into Age of Empire, and... I'm here for it. Like, I was lucky enough. My lovely friend Deshauna, of course, I'll link her channel down below as well. She sent me this beautiful box set that I'll show next time I do a book haul. But now I have all of the rest of the series ready to go to binge because I've heard that I will want to binge. So just to get into these covers, because he has like some of the coolest covers. Here's Age of Legend. Age of Death. and Age of Empire. So if you don't know, the Legends of the First Empire series is basically the prequel to the prequel series for the Rhaeria Revelations. So we have Rhaeria Revelations, which is like the Royce and Hadrian kind of buddy pop duo situation. And then there was the Rhaeria Chronicles, which is a prequel of Royce and Hadrian. And then there was Legends of the First Empire, which is set thousands of years before those stories, and it tells the very epic, epic fantasy story of how that first empire came to be. It is very different because it kind of starts with humans in an almost like Stone Age type situation. We see them learn how to make arrows and wheels and like all of these like fundamental inventions. And basically the crux of this story is the humans have been subjugated, by these elven-like immortal beings known as the Frey. And the Frey have set themselves up as gods over the humans, making the humans think that they're these all-powerful, invincible beings. But in the very first chapter of Book One, Age of Myth, we see that they are not. A human ends up killing one of the Frey, and it leads to the fomenting of a rebellion, because now they know that the Frey are not these immortal godlike beings that they always thought they were. This series is very epic fantasy, there are dragons, there are mystics, and these, the elves that do magic are known as the Moraliaths, or the singers, and they basically have these, like, gnarly powers. There are surprisingly emotional gut punches, like, he does it incredibly well where you don't really see it coming, and it's like, he is, not everybody will survive in these books. So, if you want an epic fantasy that's not necessarily, like, 50 bajillion pages per book, 
then I can't recommend uh, The Legends of the First Empire highly enough. I've only read the first half, but so far the first half is looking like this might become a new favorite series of all time, especially if these last three books are as like phenomenal as I'm hearing that they are. So I am so excited to finish up, hopefully this month, The Legends of the First Empire, and if not, it'll just spill over a little bit into August. But that, friends, is all of my relatively ambitious reading plans for the month of July. Have you read any of these? Are you reading any of these? Do you plan to hop in on any of those buddy reads? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, like always, go ahead and click that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and you want to see more bookish shenanigans like this from moi. Other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!